Hi there, I hope you have a lovely day. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stella. So today I want to introduce a project here on my channel. Uh, I am not saying it's a new project because I did it several times, but of course this is a new round. It's round number five and this project is called Pro by 30. It was created by Jessica Lee and the premise of this project is actually it is uh, made out of 30 different or individual projects because uh, Back in the day, Jessica liked so many projects and said she would love to do those projects again. And therefore she just, you know, created this project and she took, um, you know, of course, nowadays we are doing polls in the Fa Fantastic Ladies uh, Color Facebook group. But before I think she compiled it herself, the list or so, if I'm not mistaken, I could be also wrong. But anyway, we have a list of 30 different projects and based on the projects, I, I printed out already the list. I picked the products and I have to say I picked mostly face products because I have a lot of those. I want to work really on those um, face products and see what I can do. Of course, some of them, I, I don't say I can finish them at all, but um, it's just, you know, just to have worked on those things because some of them are still really, really new or they are in my possession, but I have not really touched them or, you know, used them just a little bit. And so, so therefore I decided mostly face products are going into this project now. And the project starts on July 28th, so today, and it goes until July 28th, 2024. So this is a one year long project and I will link all the information down below. So let's get started now. Um, in the Pentastic Ladies Collab Facebook group, as I said, we voted on the uh, projects that we would like to see in this rounds, uh, you know, uh, list. And therefore, you know, some of them, were, of course, won by high numbers, uh, high votes. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to read out my list and what I have picked so far. Now, 50 Shades of Green. I picked here this little guy from Dose of Colors. This is blush like you mint it you know as you can see the packaging is mint green so and the blush shade itself it's called amaze mint you know so and it's new of course right so it, this is what it looks like i'm not sure when did i get it actually it was it a gift with purchase i'm not sure about it anymore but i got it now we have of course 50 shades of pink and i have here the technique um, baked blush or baked highlighter how you want to call it pink sparkle you know so it is pink and yeah you can see it's a baked blush Um for the face products I have not thought about how many times uh, how can you say um, I want to use them I thought in my mind minimum five to ten times maybe ten times at least I know I'm putting also a lot of competition uh, out in a sense like because I have a lot of competing products uh, but on the other hand, you know, I can sometimes combine, you know, cream products with powder products together and then use them so quicker. And so on some of them I can maybe use as a um, eyeshadow or as an inner corner highlight, for example. So we will see what will happen. Now, um, 50 Shades of Purple is the next uh, project. And I got this little guy here. This is from Makeup Revolution. It's a vivid baked highlighter in and the shade is called One for Playing Games. So purple then i picked for 50 shades of yellow this juvia's place uh, the heroin glow number two so you can see there is gold on the packaging right the the shade itself looks like this so it's number two then i went with uh for the next project beauty a to z I went with this high, uh, highlighter palette, it's from Makeup Atelier, so for the letter A, I picked this little guy. So this is in the shade range, it's called Strobing Colors Nude, so it looks like this. So I used already this, uh, you know, guy, so I would love to use the others and see what will happen. So. This is, as I said, five to ten times minimum. So, and then roll them out. Or if I like them a lot, I might use them a little bit more. You know, I will just see how I feel about it. And let me see the other ones now. Then Budget Beauty, of course. Oops, uh, Budget Beauty, Shop Miss A. 
this is a baked blush or baked highlighter in the shade Fresa. You know, so because it's so cheap, I thought I put this one in. So, and I liked actually the shade. So it was, uh, you know, it was very, very much fitting to this prompt. Child of the 80s, we're going to pump you up. Uh, something with a pump I thought okay I have still these old elf uh, primers I think they are already discontinued this is a hydrating face primer it has a pump you know use it up and then this one for example I would use it up and just throw out the packaging uh, in that sense you know that's why I put it in so then uh, for color pen something with the you know with color uh, color pop products I thought about you know putting in this little guy so uh, this is the super shock super shock cheek pearlized inflexitarian you know it's a cream highlighter of course these go bad quickly or dry up quickly right so I want to use those uh, a lot my super uh, my Colourpop uh, super shock cheek stuff and so on so and um, therefore I just put it into this project and um, then let's see on the next page i have the day of the dead and we had one prompt it was for um the color orange to pick something orange and i thought okay i'm going to pick um where is it here is it this one no it's not this one okay i'm going to pick this one this is called coral dumplings so here I thought it fits because it's for me it's like a muted orange I mean of course you can say it's coral but then again you know if I look like this it is a muted orange to me um, so yeah I would you know I would use this one in for this I mean I had also one thing where I was like thinking about maybe taking another of these shades but that one is called pumpkin but it's more darker so not sure I, I thought i take this one so i might change it or exchange it i don't know yet but for now i think i will go with this one coral pumpkin uh, coral coral pumpkin coral <laughs> dumplings sorry um disney princess so disney princess i have actually here these little guys then uh from catrice these are you know two highlighter palettes one is in bell one is in ariel uh so um of course they are also new so i'm just going to hold it like this new like this and the other one looks like this for example so you know as i said five to ten times minimum so either you i use one uh, ten times in total or i use both of them five times each so that was what i was thinking about and um, then Drop 10 before summer. I then thought about uh, essence because a coral sunset, you know, summer sun, it's a sunny day. So I thought about using this little guy as a kind of uh, finishing powder because on my skin tone, these don't show up really as, you know, as really, how can I say, uh, pigmented. This is the, you know, J Cat Beauty. This is here on this side. You cannot even barely see it. I mean, I would use it maybe as a highlighting um, over the face finishing powder, for example, uh, five times and then roll it out of the project. Now, let's see. I have too many things here on my desk now. Now, Golden Girls. Okay, who was not watching Golden Girls? So, for Golden Girls, I thought, you know what, it fits that I have these little guys from Becca still around. And this is a pressed version of the Rose Gold golden girls rose gold highlighter so um yeah put it into this project and use it some more right then uh for happy hour uh the project created by debbie and denny you know we drink a lot for example around that time because this alcohol is cheap and i thought okay why not putting in champagne pop then you know also a mini size thingy and then Oh, okay, I see. I forgot one palette. So, one palette that I will use definitely it's I Heart for the I, I Love 90s or I Heart 90s. Uh, Lisa Frank, I thought about the colorful palette. So, for, for me, that would be, for example, the colorful palette uh, Makeup Revolution Birds of Paradise. I think you saw it so many times. It has a wonderful 
um, bird uh, feather design on it i will show it in the next update for example um so that would be my best you know pick for this prompt so i, I forgot to bring it now i i, I was in the room and I, I had it in my hands but then i mm, i forgot so the next pro uh, project would be it's panning cats and dogs and i thought okay why not take something that is called kittens and has a cat on it you know the embossing so jcat beauty and this is uh, a bluff struck blusher and bronzer in kitten kisses so i already used it several times so that's why you know the uh, glitter is already gone from the cat embossing but still there's a little bit left so that's the one then lip service now in lip service in the project lip service you you know you try out your lip products it could be balms it, lip balms it could be chopsticks or it could be i don't know high end lipsticks uh, drugstore lipsticks that you want to you know uh, use up a little bit more and i have here these little guys from um Kat Van D at that time you know so these are double dare i think and the bow and arrow lipstick you know again use one of them either 10 times or both of them five times each and then roll them out so they are uh, also mini size they look size items so um yeah just like that then monochromatic uh project pen you know because we start with one color i believe when i started one i tried once out this project but i gave up on it uh in the you know in july the color i think is blue so um you know and because it's it goes along the colors i would use then this eyeshadow you know from wet and white it's called lagoon five to ten times you know so it has already some use on it but why not use some more and get rid of it you know i mean use it up you know while putting it into projects and then number 18 the next project nightmare before christmas would be of course Makeup Revolution, Nightmare Before Christmas, a highlighter in Moonlight, Mischief and Madness. And you can see there is a pumpkin on it. So yeah, use it five to ten times and have fun with it. Then Nightmare on Panning Street, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So a double-ended or duo, uh, uh, yeah, duo product. I thought about these little guys. These are the eye glistens from uh, Makeup Revolution. And this is in the shade adore adored by you so um, this one doesn't have glitter on it because there are some which have on one side glitter you know like a lick um, um, with binder on it uh, in it so but this one is just pure eyeshadow cream in that sense liquid eyeshadow so use that one then orbs uh, paranormal pantivity orb something that brings light okay so i thought you know again uh, some of the bulky stuff or high, bulky highlighters that I have is this little guy from Makeup Revolution from the Elf uh, movie or Elf uh, series and this one is in the shade Jovi it's called Jovi so again also very new you know use it five times and then have fun with it and um, what else then mm, 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 mm. same pan last year for the next project and then there's february 2nd groundhog day you know because i have so many blushes as you can see and highlighters you know i would then reuse one of the blushes that i have already used um not sure which ones i would use either this one or the other purple one that i have from makeup revolution or the jcat beauty one so because i kind of buy you know blushes or bought blushes a lot so on mass let's say and yeah but i would put i wouldn't put in a new blush in i would just use one of those now uh, the next project is size matters you know that was the uh, pen that palette theme uh from last year yeah 2022 and there we had to pick either a bulky palette uh you know a small palette a big palette uh, a compact palette etc etc so i decided to pick this little guy this is uh, from Catrice it was a limited edition advent beauty gift shop uh, it's called dazzling pink collection um, again five to ten times use and then roll it out um, so then skin is in 
another project where you try out skincare, you sh either you use it up or you, you know, how can I say you have some usage goals set. I thought about putting in this little guy. This is the, what is it here? Um, this is Wishlist Healthy Glow Enzyme Scrub. You know, this little guy from Huda Beauty or her skincare line is called Wishful. Uh, use it up and then get rid of it. That's expensive, you know, when you have expensive makeup, for example, I do also have expensive makeup, but I wanted to focus uh, with this prompt more on my hourglass uh, single eyeshadow palettes or single eyeshadow blushes, sorry. And this is one is in mood exposure. So it's a big blush. Uh, use it also five to ten times, right? And then th that's so 2000. So that's so 2000. What can you say? It's about chunky jewelry. Back in the day, they were, uh, you know, wearing, and I was wearing as well, maybe as well. Um, so I have here this little guy from Snow, uh, from I Love Revolution, the Disney Snow White uh, blush, and it has an apple shade uh, shape. So again, use it like that. This is fantasy, and I picked there the prompt Cyclops. You know, a single eyeshadow. And um, I have some of those, you know, with bulky packaging, as you can see, this is from Makeup Revolution or Freedom, um, you know, one of the Makeup Revolution brands, so Freedom eyeshadows. And you can see uh, it's bulky from the side, so I would love to get rid of those, you know, by using them up, of course. And this is in a very beautiful purple shade. It's in 230. It doesn't have a single or uh, individual name. It just has a number. So then tiny pants was another uh, panda palette theme and i again will pick this little guy here from catrice uh you know because it has tiny pants so i'm not uh sure how much grams it is in total to be honest with you it says okay oh sorry it says six grams so it's like okay one gram each one gram each are these you know pants so yeah why not use it then you know because they are the, the eyeshadow is very you know tiny as well in that sense you can translate it to a tiny palette so i take this one tiny pants now turn and burn is a project where you actually try out samples or try to use up sa deluxe size samples foil samples etc etc and get rid of them so i have these little guys here from huda beauty this is the uh, full filter concealer, you know, I have I think one or two of these and no, I think two more even two more So you see there are the concealer uh, free shades Why not use them up and then get rid of them? So some of them as I said of the product that I picked for this project will have definitely use up goals Some of them are more just use usage goals Right we are coming to the end of the list <laughs> uh, Two more now uh, do -do 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 -do. So Woman Who Rock. Woman Who Rock, for example, we had Julia Childs there. I believe she's a, a cook or she was a cook. Uh, when I say cook, I mean chef, you know, so famous for her uh, recipes, etc., etc. And um, this uh, would translate to have a product in which has a, f a food themed thingy. So this one is Tasty Peach. You know, this is a Kiko Milano blush from the Charming Escape collection. And this one is called still uh, tasty peach so because of peach food related i would pick this blush or bring this blush into this collection and finally zodiac panna zodiac panna was uh, a project created by kena here and it was uh, all about your um zodiac signs of course you know i would translate it also to the months that you are born in because uh, depending on the month you are born in your zodiac sign is this and that and for me I actually picked this little guy uh, from BH Cosmetics. This is a birthstone collection palette in turquoise because I w I'm born in December. So, and therefore, again, this one is very new, right? I have not even touched it yet. Um, so why not use it then uh, in this project five to 10 times and see if I like it, if I, uh, you know, some colors, of course, um, are beautiful but typically they are not the shade that i would go for but still you know i could maybe make them work for me so we will see anyway so as i said the one palette uh, I, I have not shown you but i will show it to you the next time so these are 
now the 30 products that I have picked for this project. Wish me good luck. I see you in the next update for this project. Have a good day. Bye bye.